Good morning everyone. Well, we'll do another beginner's uh, painting today. So, I'll describe it as I go along. Okay, here we go. There's the old brushes. Cheap ones, cheap as you can get. Right, let's see, let's think. I'll start with this brush and uh, we'll bring the sky in. So I've not wet the paper, but you can. But look, let's do a little nice easy sky. Now I'm not sure about this paper. Now I've just put that bit of blue in there like that and then just shake your brush out and take that edge off like that then get another bit of blue here across here like that coming down to here see put a bit more blue in that so not, there's not enough blue in that there see okay leave it like that now dry your brush off come along the bottom here with your damp wet brush see all them burrs coming off this whoa wee <laughs> it's shedding hers like mad oh it's all over there okay if I dry it off and brush all those hers off we'll be ready to start well I said it was a cheap brush all this it's blown the hers off there's a few left well that's it and it's it's actually that you can stretch it just pull one way can't you like that and stretch it without pulling both sides so our next one oh let's see how we go on with these brushes this is another cheap one i love that oh it says on it okay they are cheap so oh, what was we doing next oh i'll tell you what Get, you'll get some blue and we'll put a river in here, uh, let's see, small river, eh? Better put a bit of strong blue in places, aren't we? Can you do that for me? Well, let's get some uh, yellow. Lemon yellow or cad yellow will do if you want. And add that bit of blue with ultramarine to it. See? See it? There's your ultramarine. There's your cad yellow. Mix them together. See that green? Just come across here. Look at that green we're going into the... Now you can forget about that, can't you? get too hung, hung up on it hey eh? get a bit of burnt umber and uh, we'll put a, a hill at the back here take that out because we don't want it running too much but I'm not too bothered about a few runs anyway so then we have that now uh, yeah a bit more a bit more dark in it 
and uh, come over the other side here and put a little bit of a hill here as well. There we are. Ah, no, those are what we call cauliflowers. They're not actually a cauliflower, but you can see the the, the name on cauliflowers. Now, if you're careful, put that in, put that in, put the green in, the blue in that. If you do those carefully and you dry them out, you won't have that like that. Like I've done, you won't have it. Okay, so what shall we do next? Well, let's look at that. And we'll get some umber again. Mix it on that dirty palette you have and just, just do this thing. Well, a bit stronger. The matter of it is a bit strong anyway. Just do this. No, see what that is. That that is a, is it supposed to be trees at the back. Can you see in the distance there? Right. Okay. Now those are distant trees in there. So with that still on there, that little bit of umber, or brown, it's brown, it, the brown is, is umber. Now that is going round there, the river. Okay, do that, see? A little bit of soil showing on the edges. Now you can see your river now coming round, can't you? There's your river now coming round. Now, just wet your brush a bit. Use a bit of that brown if you want, what you've just been using, and just do that. Well, that cloud there coming over, like that. Let's get a bit, a bit more blue, because have you seen how light it's gone? Well, let's just see if we can just, oh, not light, no, enough blue on that. A bit more blue on your brush. Just go over it like that. That'll do. Now a bit more brown here. Some few stalks like that, see? Can give you a really dark brown. And we'll put uh, a, a tree here. Uh, like that. And then we can make that into some reflection. So, okay, a bit more brown, a bit more blue. Strengthen it a bit because it's not quite dark enough. There you are. And there's your tree there. Well, we can put a tree here. Now then, you can do that. Now, just rub your brush out a bit. Just do that. The edges. And if you want, put your finger, finger through the You should dry brush like that. 
Put on this one. Okay. So haven't we got a little painting now without you trying? See, put another one here. Just a bit of your dark brown. See, some dark brown. That's your brown there, see? See it? And that's your blue, which you put with it. Can you see how, how it goes into a like an hilly black? Right. If you want, you can just put a little bit more strength there, see? Just to show that river. Or whatever it is. If I'd have put that in brown, it would have been a path. <laughs> yeah, but you know what I mean? See? Now, if you, had a, if you had a shadow up it, it would be up there. Or if you had a shadow from the left, it would be across there. Uh, okay. Now I'm going to just do a few stalks on it. Don't need nothing special. There's your little scene. Quick, quick, quick. I'll leave it that way. Yeah. Oh yeah. A little quick scene for you all today. For you beginners only. Just for our beginners. 